Welcome back, you guys. Welcome to another episode of The Single Writer. Today, we are headed back to Epcot because those of you that watched my last video right up here, I got a little distracted last time I went to Epcot because um, I was there to experience all that the festival 2022 had to offer, but I got a little distracted by a little small purple dragon. That's right, you guys. Figment, as I said in my last video, is my guy. My guy. My guy. My guy. <laughs> That's right. He's my guy. He got me a little distracted. I said I was not going to wait for a popcorn bucket, but yeah, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I waited for that bucket. And guess what? It was a great time. I've had a lot of people commenting and stuff like that on Instagram, sending me messages like, you're crazy. Like, why would you do that? And to be honest with you, like, I don't know. Like, I was not going to do it, guys. Like, I was like, this is absolutely insane. But I just got caught up in the hype. And I just got caught up with the fun and the people, the excitement for these popcorn buckets. And I know I could have gone back three days later and probably waited 20 minutes. But you know what? It was the first day. It's kind of like, why do people go to movies on opening night at midnight? You know? Because it's fun and it's exciting. Like, you, to say that you were one of the first people and you were crazy enough to wait in that line. That's why. That's why I did it. Um, but we're headed back to Epcot today because keeping it along the lines of the Figment theme and Figment being the mascot of Festival of the Arts 2022, we are headed to go on a scavenger hunt. I've never done a scavenger hunt actually at, at Epcot. So this will be my first time. I think I heard that a lot of the uh, locations are the exact same from last year, but I didn't do it last year. So a little spoiler alert for you guys. If you are coming to do this and you want to be able to experience it for the first time, not knowing where things like a true hunt, uh, probably skip the parts where I'm talking about where the locations are. If you're coming with your kids and you want to know where they are so you can guide them, that would be the reason to watch this video because if you're coming with your kids and this is a great activity for kids, and I plan to take my kids along to do it as well. Uh, you'll know where things are. And so you can kind of like know and guide your kids like where to look. Like, hey, guys, look over here. or Look over there. Like, do you see anything that might look like figment? You know, so it might be helpful to those of you out there that are coming with your kids. Uh, this could be like a little bit of a guide for you. And this is kind of like my experience on the day. And we're going to take a look at some of the art that's there. Maybe try some food. Go on a few rides. Just have a great day at Epcot. It's been a while since I've been able to just go to a park. Not really with a plan, but with a plan, but I'm not trying to go to the park to do like every single ride or try and experience everything or, or try every new piece of food or look at everything in the park. But this is just kind of like a fun experience that you can do with your family. Come along with me. Let's get into Epcot and let's see what we can experience. We are in Festival of the Arts 2022. When you guys come in, make sure you head to the left or right to pick up your pigment brush map. That looks like this. So it looks like we need to go to all pavilions to try and find a hidden figment. Just walking over here towards Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind and you can see the spaceship. Check this out. That is pretty epic looking guys. Not gonna lie. Looks pretty sweet. Oh yeah. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be to be honest with you. But holy crap that's a statement piece if I've ever seen one. Heck yeah. That looks amazing. Let's just take a moment and appreciate this. Zoom in a little bit. Heck yeah, dude, look at that. It's pretty much complete. But I was able to see that today. I mean, guys, just take a look at that ship. It is massive. It's gonna look so good once this is all done over here. Uh, Epcot desperately needs this coaster, and I hope it opens sooner rather than later. Had to come over here and check out my pal Groot and Rocket, or Rocket and Groot, however you like to say it. But I decided to go with the flow. We're gonna head to Canada first. And like I said, I have no idea where I'm gonna find all of these figments throughout the lands. I've never done any of these scavenger hunts in the past. So I'm gonna be taking you along with me and we're gonna be searching together. So let's go find figment.
All right, you guys, I found him. Figment is here. <sighs> the last place I looked. There he is. It's a cool little figment frame here. There's a bunch of other people looking for figment as well in here. And of course it was at the exit of the far and wide show that Canada puts on here in the pavilion. So we're gonna get our sticker and we're gonna mark that figment as found. It's one down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and like nine, 10, 11, 12, eight, seven, I don't know how many to go, but we're having a good time, you guys. And I've seen a lot of families doing this with their kids and the kids are having such a great time. So if you have kids, Definitely do this with them. All right, so if you're on a mission to find these as quickly as possible, the quickest way to find figment in Canada is to come through this sign where it says Canada far and wide. Just head on down to the exit of the theater show and you will find him. So for now, we're gonna head over to the UK and we are going to find our friend figment over there. Guys, I just got out of the uh, Crown and Crest and I just saw out of the corner of my eye in the toy soldier here, a figment. There he is. Dang, he's looking good. Look at him in this blue suit. I found you. for the Morocco area. It's not really figment per se, but it is a figment photo frame or a picture frame. This is a really, really cool mosaic with figment right there. Absolutely beautiful pavilion. Oh my gosh, it's probably one of my absolute favorite in terms of like theming. So yeah, back over here, just enter in. And he's just right back here. So, yeah, it's like a, normally like a quick service, but it's not in operation right now. Let me try and find the name of what this place is called. Oh, it's called the Brass Bazaar. That's right. It's been so long since I've been back here, but it's the Brass Bazaar. Just head on inside. We'll be at the very, very back. All right, guys, so I'm here at Epcot, obviously, and my wife is here with one of her friends. So I wanted to just go jump scare her real quick. I just saw her, so let's go scare her. <laughs> Have fun. Bye. Oh my God. <laughs> Where I cannot find Figment anywhere here. I had to have passed them before. I just gotta go back. I'm gonna start back over by the department store again and see if I can find him. All right, so here we got the Mitsukoshi um, department store. 
Let's check it out. Oh. There it is. There it is. Found him. All right, guys, we found him. There he is. Let's get that sticker. Wow, you guys, that figment was probably one of the hardest so far. I know I've still got like six to go, but that figment was ridiculously hard. I looked everywhere, even walked right past it at one point, but it's kind of hidden in a darker area, like in the shadows. Um, so yeah, so when you're coming here and your kids are getting frustrated, parents, now you know where to guide them. I was completely lost. I was about to ask, I was so close, I was gonna ask somebody in the store where I should go, but I got lucky, didn't have to. But anyways, yeah, we found him. On to the next pavilion, guys. Woo. We got the American Adventure coming up next. Any of you that want to uh, sponsor a video so I can come to this amazing and expensive restaurant, let me know. I'll be happy to do a dining review of this amazing establishment, but I need a few. I need some lettuce. You know, I was just about to head inside of the theater when I noticed this picture over here and a little bit of purple caught my eye. And just so you see, Figment is right there just saying hello. And he's inside of this amazing old, uh, well, it's inspired by <laughs> the Washington Crossing, the Delaware of 1851. So pretty, really cool, pretty amazing to see Figment with George Washington there. Just, I, mean, I don't know if he was actually there, but hey, if he was there, that'd be pretty sweet, you know. I mean, George Washington had imagination. Maybe he was. You never know. I just had to do it. I had to stop in and get some of that beautiful and amazingly smelling Werther's Caramel popcorn. I just had to do it. It's been so long. I probably haven't had it in maybe five years. Time is next. We got three to go. Shop, got a mask up. Oh, guys, all right, <laughs> I found him, but holy smokes, he was literally right there. But honestly, these ones are tricky because it's not actually figment but like a frame of art with, it's a figment frame. So here it is, check it out. Here it is. We've got figment right there. And this is the ox and the dragon. So yeah, I guess the dragon being figment right there. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like I, yeah, this one's kind of busy, so I just didn't see it. But hey, here he is, China is done. Let's head to the next.
All right, well, that one was actually easy. I just got lucky on that one. I literally just walked into the store because, you know, there's a theme constantly. I've, I've been finding a lot of these over by cashiers, and this is maybe the third one or the fourth one by a cashier. Just went over there, and there he was, just sitting there right over the cashier inside of the gift shop after you get off the frozen ride. You can just go right in after you get off the ride or before. Just go right in the gift shop, and there he is right above the cashier. looking around here he is inside of the mexico pavilion very hard to see he's kind of tucked away here pigment is the smoke that is arising out of this erupting volcano we have done it we have completed the figment brush with the masters scavenger hunt was it fun yes it was would i do it again absolutely i want to come take my kids to do this experience it was super, super fun. Once you finish the scavenger hunt, head over to Disney Traders or the International Gateway to claim your prize. Wow, what a day, you guys. Now, I said previously that I had never done one of these scavenger hunts before. Um, I had a great time, and I'd say probably like the biggest benefit to doing something like this is you get to view, you get to experience, you get to visit and explore areas that you probably normally wouldn't. Um, I highly recommend this for you if you're considering coming to Disney World and you wanna try something different at Epcot to keep the kids entertained because as we all know, adults love Epcot for like the culture, the different food, the different drinks, the different things like that. But the kids, there's not so many like attractions as far as like exciting rides. This is like a fun game that the whole family can play together while they're here. Another great benefit is you get a kind of a cool keepsake from your experience. Now, they did not have the figment uh, figurine, but they did only have the Mickey Mouse. And you know what? I was a little bummed that they didn't have figment because, you know, figment is my guy. Uh, but... You know, Mickey Mouse is also my guy. So I, I don't feel too bad about it because I have that, you know, amazing figment popcorn bucket that I got last time. And if you haven't, here's a link to the video right here. But these are the four different uh, characters that you can get um, from doing this scavenger hunt. Um, so you've obviously got Mickey Mouse, you got figment, you got Daisy Duck and Minnie Mouse. So really, really cool. You can do it four different times. But right now, the only one that they still have available in the shops is the Mickey Mouse, and you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm, I would rather it be Mickey Mouse than say like Minnie Mouse or Daisy Duck. Okay, well, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video, but I just wanna say thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Those of you who are new, thank you, welcome. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like bell, all that good stuff. Yeah, but remember, guys, keep being awesome, be true to yourself, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.